Alright, hey guys, so I'm back with another mukbang. Today I have Subway. I got a couple of different things. So I have Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips. These are amazing. And then I also got Sun Chips Veggie Harvest made with real veggie and whole grain, the tomato, basil, and cheese one. I've never tried those. So I also got a straw. Oh my god, did I break that already? And it's actually late at night, guys. That's probably why the lighting is like, eh. Um, I got a big light in here, like pointing in this direction. And then, um, what was I going to say? I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Dang it, I did break the straw. I got Dr. Pepper. And then... Oh yeah, and I got a cookie. I forgot. Wow, this is so exciting. So yeah, it's a little bit later, guys. And sorry if you hear any noise. My family is just home and they're doing stuff. I got a new sandwich. Um, delicious. Let me get this set up and then we will see you guys after. So guys, I have my whole setup. So I got my two sandwiches. This is a BMT with cucumber, onion, tomato, lettuce, pepperoncinis, um, provolone, and chipotle. And then the different meats that come on a BMT. But I also got the like Southwest chipotle steak sandwich. It's new with the sunflower bread. Um, and in here he put steak, cheese, onions, green peppers, lettuce, tomatoes. So just a whole bunch of goodness in there. And then we have Miss Vicky's jalapeno chips and then some sun chips. And then I also got an M&M cookie, cookie because Subway has the best cookies ever. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said before, I did get a Dr. Pepper. Mm. Okay, I already got my thumbnail, so let's just get started. So I'm gonna try this one that I've never had before. Let's see how it is. Mmm. -hmm. Wow. That's really good. Mmm. -mm -mm. So the Chipotle one is one I've never tried before. And then this um, BMT is the one I get every time. And I always get extra cucumbers because I love cucumbers. Mm. That's what it looks like inside. Mmm. I love Subway. I get both of the both of them baked. Mm. Whenever I have a sandwich, I have to have chips. Like, it's just so wrong not to have the chips. <laughs> I love sandwiches, guys. I kept seeing Subway mukbangs, and I'm like, okay, I have to do one. The steak is so good with the green peppers. Mm. Mm. So good. So I just got off of work, so I might look a little 
crazy. Mm -hmm. You guys all had a really good Thanksgiving. After this, I'm going to edit some videos I made, my Thanksgiving Black Friday video and um, my Black Friday haul and try on. Love the crunch of the chips give. Mm -mm -mm. I definitely recommend both of these. Mm -hmm. I really want to do another in and out with Bong. But one is opening down near me and I think they're almost done um, remodeling it or like finishing it. So I'm going to wait till that's done to do a mukbang because I don't really like doing car mukbang so I'm just going to wait so I can film it here. But in the meantime I really want to film a animal style tater tots video because I've been watching those and it looks really yummy. Um, and then I saw another YouTuber. His name is Tasty Motive. Definitely watch him, guys. He does mukbangs and everything. Um, he did animal style onion rings, and that looked really good. I think animal style on earrings would be really good. Mm -hmm. For Black Friday, I went to the mall in the morning. Well, actually, on Thanksgiving at night time, I went to Walmart just to get the experience of Black Friday. And then after I went to the mall with my boyfriend, I bought like a shirt. And then the next day in the morning, I went to the another different mall. And I shopped a lot. And then I went to my job. And then after I was done working, I went to another mall. I'm like, oh my god. I literally have a problem. <laughs> a real addiction. I didn't even get a good deal, so... I'm really excited to edit the videos because they're just really fun.
I was actually watching a YouTube video about a girl. She was talking about like holiday depression and I never knew that was a thing until I heard her say it. And I'm like, oh. And I googled it and it's basically just like what some people get when the holidays come around and it's like there's this expectation where you have to get everyone a bunch of presents and you have to you just have all these goals that are really hard to reach and not practical so I read about that and I thought it was really surprising like that people get that I'm like how sad like the holidays are supposed to be like a fun time where you spend time with your family and blah 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 and then people are actually are sad about it I really enjoy the holidays. Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever. I just really like the atmosphere of all of them, like... Not the atmosphere, but like the feeling, like... Christmas decorating, Christmas music, um, just the whole thought of Christmas I really like. So yeah, I'm a big fan of Christmas. Um, and then as I get older, I like really enjoy watching my brothers and sisters open up their presents, and I enjoy going shopping and all that. just like surprised by that holiday depression thing it's supposed to be a happy time and yet people are sad about it because one of the things I read was that TV will play like commercials of like a really big house with totally like decorated for Christmas and like a nice looking family and blah 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 and it's just all these unrealistic expectations for some people or things that just aren't achievable and they just feel sad about that because we don't have a commercial based lifestyle you know huh. <clears throat> So, did you guys go Black Friday shopping? Did you get any good deals? Huh. I don't think I got any good deals. Probably the best one. I got a couple actually. actually did get pretty good deals. I'm just seeing you know, all the stuff I bought. It was buy three, get three free at Victoria's Secret, or at um, Bed Bath & Body Works. It was 30% off at Pro 21. Um, $25 everyday bras at Victoria's Secret. Oh, Victoria's Secret, I feel like their deals are never really like not great. They also had buy five pairs of underwear for $28 but yeah mostly from Victoria's Secret well I never really go into Victoria's Secret I mostly just stay in the pink area I should just get clothes or perfumes mostly perfumes because oh my god guys they have amazing smelling um, body sprays like amazing Mm-mm. 
Well, sorry, I keep looking over there because all the stuff is there. So basically, Black Friday was just an excuse for me to go shopping. <laughs> I have way too many clothes. But clothes has like always been my thing. I never really got into like hair or makeup or anything like that, so. I don't know. It's just like my collection, I guess. Like I don't really know if that can be a collection, but mm -hmm. I try and always clean out my clothes though and donate whatever I'm not wearing anymore because I don't know. I just feel like always having the same old clothes in there that you don't wear just becomes so like repetitive, not fun to get yourself dressed. For me, like what I wear can totally like change my day. Like if I'm wearing something that makes me feel uncomfortable or not confident enough or <clears throat> that I just don't like it or whatever it is like I just feel like my whole mood changes because I can't feel like good about myself you know so to me clothes like mean a lot even though I know to some people that's like dumb but I uh -huh. I just feel like it's the first thing people are saying about you, like, as a whole. I mean, there's other things too, but people notice the clothes you wear, and I don't know. I just feel like you should take some sense of pride in that, if you're into that kind of thing. I know. I watched like a minimalist documentary one time thinking it would change my ways, but mm -mm. that lifestyle is just not for me. I mean, I do think I'm pretty minimalistic in some aspects. Like I don't buy things and not use them. Like almost everything I buy, I put to use. Oh. So, um, and I don't just have like random little knickknacks. Like to me, everything I have serves a purpose of some sort. Because I do go through my room quite often, and like get rid of the stuff I'm just not use using anymore. So, yeah. I'll have to save these for my lunch tomorrow. I love Subway. I feel like I, ha I talked about like five different main topics in this video. Like, I, know, I guess that's just how my brain works. I'm always just like, da, da, da. I was just about to talk about something else. I was going to say how at McDonald's their romaine lettuce got recalled. <laughs> oh, wait, is it romaine? I don't even know. Okay, guys, on to the cookie. So, this is the best cookie in the fast food places that you will ever get it's the m&m one i've never tried the other ones but the m&m one is amazing um it comes close to the panda it is a close second is that how you say that i don't know this rating for me comes close to the panda express cookie but somehow the subway one is just better because they have m&ms in it so yeah if you haven't tried one get yourself a subway cookie because they're bomb so yeah, mm. and they're soft, soft. I cannot stand hard cookies. Like I don't even know why they exist. 
like my brothers and sisters will go shopping with my mom and they'll get chips ahoy cookies and then they'll bring back the hard ones instead of the chewy soft ones i'm like oh my god what <laughs> like Soft cookies are so much better. Which ones do you guys prefer? Chewy cookies or hard cookies? Let me know. This is so unhealthy. I'm washing down my chocolate cookie with uh, Dr. Pepper.